Here we are in Reno. We're gonna have a whale of a good time. <laughs> Good morning guys. Before we go east of Reno, we want to spend a little bit of time in Reno. Like Lincoln. It's a massive mural with a bunch of stuff on it and here's Lincoln on the US Lincoln Highway. A bunch of stuff along this wall. All right, it's loud here in the morning, but welcome to Reno, the biggest little city in the world. Also right here on the corner of the big sign is an authentic Blarney stone, everybody, from Ireland. It gives you good luck. And as we're doing this trip, I need all the luck I can possibly get. It's pretty empty here in the morning, you know, because they got to bring all the pressure washers out and clean up all the puke from the big night before. But look at these massive poker chips. I mean, they're huge. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Art, guys. That's actually really nice. Wow. I'm sure everybody always comes here at nighttime when this is all lit up and looking good, but... I'd rather be here when it's less busy and less crazy people. I always look at these little plaques that are in the big town, and, you know, the stuff that people walk right past, little historical markers and stuff. This one's interesting. This plaque is saying that uh, Jacob Davis Taylor Shop patented the denim jeans. Yeah. Uh, right here in 1871, he invented the riveted work pants that we call blue jeans or denim. Blue jeans, denim. Right here in Reno, Nevada. Cool. Interesting. Well, they have some magnets here, guys. Lots to choose from. I don't know. <laughs> uh. So we're here at the bus station, and you know what was the dead giveaway? Yeah, I like the color. I like the detail. That's pretty cool. But if you get right behind it, it's really thin in the back, and then it gets a little wider in the front. That's awesome. Love it. The city has something for big domes. There's a lot of those big domes. This is not a Coke machine. It's a painted Reno machine. Very nice, guys. That's art. I've seen these before in some of the big cities. Do you know, do you know what all this metal is for, guys? This is to detour skateboarders. Yep, they've got them on every single tree here. You also can't sleep on or get comfortable because they put the big jagged rocks in there. Uh, another big dome, this is the National Bowling Stadium. Kind of makes me want to watch Roy Munson in Kingpin. And look, the police station made famous by Reno 911. Well, probably not. There's probably a lot of police stations here, but anyway. Outside the police station, they have a little Lincoln Highway little guide here, letting me know how many miles to everything. Thousand miles to Denver. Actually, that's not on Lincoln Highway, but Chicago is. Nearly 2,000 miles to Chicago, and we still have 2,600 miles to New York City, Times Square. It's gonna take me a while to get there, guys. Be patient. We got the Truckee River here in downtown Reno. Nice sunny day. Let's take a quick stroll down uh, Lincoln Alley here. Yeah, they uh, light up all their alleys a lot down here, so I feel like I'm not gonna get mugged good thing. Well, it's noon here. We're going to check out the Wild River Grill here right on the water and see if we can get some good food. They do have outdoor seating in the snow if you prefer. Went with one of their local uh, Tahoe Amber Ale beers. Mm -hmm. Tasty. Hoppy. Shit, cops, hold this. No, there's a real cop down there eating. <laughs> and a new Reno magnet. Hi from Reno. <laughs> well, we came back. The RV's in one piece. Nobody touched it. Nobody messed with it. As for now, gonna pack up and get out of Reno. So let me pack up a few things and we'll get on the road. Actually, uh, just uh, east of Reno now in Sparks. And while we're in a big city that's away from a bigger city, I'm gonna take advantage of getting a few supplies. Gotta get some outdoor supplies, as well as I'm still looking for Jax's food. Uh, ever since I left, I guess Oregon was the last place I saw his Crave 40% high protein food. So I'm gonna check uh, Petco on the other side of this place. So first we'll go in and check out this legendary outdoor store. Okay, so Shields. 
And look at these ginormous bronze statues. There's a fly fisherman there and a bow hunter there. Neato. Um, wow. Look at these aquariums here in the entrance. We can walk underneath it. So we look up. Wow. Holy cow. I'm sorry, Cabela's and Bass Pro Shop, but you got nothing on shields. Because you don't have a Ferris wheel in your store. <laughs> I love the Airstream camper. Come on, is that really necessary? A Ferris wheel with your name on it? <laughs> oh man. Look at their sports section. They got Seahawks apparel over here. Yeah, nicely done, Nevada. Although if you've been paying attention to what the Seahawks are doing, they aren't re-signing anybody. They are literally just getting rid of all of our players. I hope Russell Wilson's still the quarterback by the time the fall hits. Other than that, it's going to be a new team. I'm worried. Rooting for the Mariners, though. It's a two-story. This is President John Adams. It's a wax museum of presidents. This is cool. George Washington, Ronald Reagan, Franklin Roosevelt. Oh, and of course, got President Lincoln here talking. They who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. <laughs> it is rather for us to. It's like unlimited Lincoln stuff. This is this is quite a store. Wow. This moose. Black bear. Oh, brown bear. Jeez, guys. Okay, Shields, you're better than the rest. You, I understand, I understand. They didn't have a life-size airplane suspended from the building. Established 1902. Well, of course, they've got their own bowling alley upstairs. I've seen these advertised before. I've never seen one in person. The Guardian filter, where you can literally filter muddy river water into drinking water. 2.5 liters per minute, $350. Yeah, that's like a prepping survival tool there. That's cool. That's a negative on the pet food. I'm starting to wonder if the company is going to stop stocking them at Walmart, Pet Marts, and Petco's. It's funny because if you look at the Crave website, they list all the Pet Smarts and Petco's. Even this one right here, they list it as a supplier, but that never means that they have it in stock. It's tough. Next time I get it, I'm just going to have to get like four 10 pound bags and store them up top or something. Back on historic Lincoln Highway, Wigwam Restaurant Casino, but no Wigwam TPs like Route 66. Hmm. Jax, did you eat all my gummy bears? You ate all my gummy bears while I was gone. You sneaky little kitty cat. Uh, what is this? Look at this sculpture off to the left. <laughs> okay. Get a load of this. It's a turtle. It's a sea turtle made out of huge boulders and he's smiling see the smile well, I mean, he's doing the best smile he can this this isn't let me make sure no those are real rocks well they're rocks that have been carved so just like they do like those wood carvings this is a rock carving turning these boulders into a massive sea turtle It looks like they had some children's artwork added to it with the tiles. Oh wait, it's not a sea turtle, it's a desert tortoise. Okay, okay let's look at the plaque first so I look smart. Bottle cap gazebo transforms discarded bottle caps, reclaimed lumber and steel into a beautiful structure for all to enjoy. Oh, wow. Can you guys see them? They're all bottle caps. I see a lot of green Heinekens in there. The entire structure. Here's the underside of bottle caps. Pressed bottle caps. I like that. 